Mayor Sally Gold jetted into Ireland for oxygen at the weekend, but unfortunately, the rain caught the starry-eyed singer by surprise. It's a little bit wet early and my boots were wet. I need to change into wellies soon, I think. I forgot to bring some. <laughs> well, we all love you here and we're all looking forward to seeing you on stage. But when you look back at starry-eyed, right, it was, you're still on the radio here non-stop. It's so infectious. Did you know it was going to be such a hit and it was so infectious on your own? No, not, really? not at all. I don't think anybody, any of us expected it, really. Um, I just thought, you know, it would be quite well received. But, yeah, just a bit of an anthem now, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Where do you get the ideas for your, for your songs, then? Do they just come to you at night and you write them down through dreams or something? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, God, all sorts of things. They come to me in the middle of the night, which is quite annoying, so I have to get up and write them down. Um, but, yeah, um, uh, all sorts. Uh, I just kind of conjure up things in my head, really. Um, I guess like a, like a writer, like a storyteller, I, I things things sort of come up in my head and I write them down. Okay. Well, I talked to those different people about guns and horses, those different interpretations of what that song's about. And then I read that you it's about you online dating. Is that right or is that wrong? What's going on? That was probably my friend Matt who interviewed me and turned it into online dating. No, <laughs> not at all. Not chat roulette or whatever. Yeah. Um, no, it's um, it was about someone. It was about basically writing love letters back and forth to someone, except it was in the form of an email. So we used to write these big emails to each other, and then we finally met, and it was a bit rubbish. Oh, really? I think so. Yeah. Hopefully, they'll never find out who who it is. Um, but um, yeah, it was just like a someone who didn't really know how to feel properly, uh, and they didn't really know how to express themselves, their emotions. Ellie likes to share her writing talents and has written songs for artists like Diana Vickers. But are the rumours true that she's penning tracks for expose fave Cheryl Cole? I'm going to be writing with her at some point, yeah. Because I'm a really big fan of her and, uh, and vice versa, so... It's a bit a channel that everybody loves, because everybody loves Cheryl Cole, including yourself, you just said, so... Yeah. Uh, she's, she, her personality shines through. She's just got a lovely personality, yeah. Um, and uh, she uh, is uh, just a brilliant pop star, I think. You get nervous before you go on stage. Like, you gig like this, you're talking about thousands and thousands of people. Huge. Like, it's a bit different to an indoor gig. Do you get nervous at all before any gig? Uh, oh, God, sorry, I don't really yawn. Oh, oh, I haven't had much sleep. Um, what was the question again? Sorry. So poor old Ellie. Life on the road has her wrecked. So, does she get nervous when she's performing? A little bit, yeah. There's yeah. only a few moments before I go on, and when I go on, I'm a little bit like... Ugh. My voice goes a bit, sort of, it breaks a little bit. But uh, as I get into it, I just really start enjoying it. I was talking to Tiny Temper the other week, and he was saying he'd love to collaborate with you. You're good friends, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I love him so much. Yeah. Um, he is a legend. We've done a track together on his album. Cool. Yeah. When are we going to get to hear that? Oh, I don't know. I think there was, he was saying that maybe it's going to be, like, the fourth single or something. Lastly, I just want to ask you... I'm I... a bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're the tired. Obviously, it's the t- it, it, obviously it kills you after all the touring. But um, lastly, you're running all the time, so no wonder you're tired. Well, you see you all the time, perhaps running. What's this about? <laughs> is that where you're relaxing? Uh, yes. I'm, I've just been confirmed for the Great North Run, actually, which I'm really excited about. What is it about running? I just don't really think about that much, and um, I just really like keeping fit. And I hate the idea of uh, being unfit and not being able to run away. Um, and uh, I couldn't imagine my body any other way now. I just like it fit, and that's it. Well, you're looking fit too, Ellie. Go on, get on that stage and work what you got, girl. <laughs> Thank you very much. And she did, wearing the crowded oxygen. Ellie's debut album, Lights, is in chops now. Lights.